Okay, I have received this eyepiece and I'm going to open it now. Let's just see what is inside. Okay, I've now opened one pack and it seems there is another pack inside it. So I just removed this one also. Let me do it with two hands. Okay, this is what is inside. I'll put this away. <coughs> mm -hmm. Bell pack. Oh, quite large. What is this? This is a large eyepiece. Look at this. This is Antares Spears Valor <coughs> 7.2 millimeter super wide angle series 2. Quite large, not very heavy, but quite large. Now I am opening the cap. Oh, look at this lens, it's amazingly big. This is one of the chunkiest ever I've seen, but this is 7.2 millimeter. How can it be that big? Look, <clears throat> turn on the flash, and I can look at this in more detail. It's 82 degrees. Okay, I was uh, using this eyepiece <coughs> plus all. Teleview 40mm plus so to find the view and then I use this Waller Spears Waller 7.2 millimeter to bring the Venus to target. I never saw Venus <coughs> in the Gibbous phase like that clear. It's 7.2 millimeter and it's amazingly clear. This is the camera, of course, showing it like that. In the visually, I can see the gibbous face clearly. This is one of the best eyepieces I have. This is amazing eyepiece. This is the Nagler original or tape one, seven millimeter. Teleview seven millimeter Nagler original or tape one. Compared to the size, you see, this Nagler is heavier than this. And I'm now going to compare the image quality. With the Nagler, you can see false color, mostly red. Chromatic aberration on Venus. With this spear, Waller, no chromatic abrasion, pure white. They cost me the same. So I'm using with the Skywatcher ATED Pro Series or Pro Series. Okay, one of the things I really uh, I'm surprised about this eyepiece is that it doesn't have that uh, cheating device that all the other eyepieces have. I have to clean the lens, of course. Don't worry about that. What I'm saying is that they usually put a Barlow. It's called a Smite. Uh, lens at the end, so they make the long focal length eyepiece into a planetary uh, small short focal length eyepiece. This one doesn't have that, this has a proper lens, that's the reason it's so crisp and beautiful, the image quality. Nagler had that smite, this one doesn't have. Well, I've cleaned the lens actually, you can see now it's clear. 
relatively of course uh, here into uh, both sides of it this can be opened actually it's not a smart is a barlow I don't think it's a barlow it's a very thick lens if you look at it it's quite thick doesn't look like a barlow to me and inside of it also you can see the construction is really strange not similar to anything I've seen and the size of this lens nothing like that I've seen in any eyepiece um, some reviews I don't know in the cloudy nights or probably cloudy nights or the other one which is the stargazes launch they were moaning some people that say uh, there's dust in it I didn't see any dust I just cleaned it and they say that it rattles okay I'm checking it doesn't rattle at all so the lens is in a space in in its place so none of these problems exist in the one that I have okay this is the comparison between the Antares Spear Waller 7.2 millimeter wide angle 82 degrees eyepiece this is a Teleview Nagler 7 millimeter original or tape one this is the TMB optical 2 super wide angle 7 millimeter that's 68 degrees and this is the air for 50 millimeter Siberia just for comparison and these are the sizes you can see here and in the 7 millimeter range in my opinion this comes first then the Sky Watcher comes second and Nagler comes third having used all of them uh, Nagler has a very short uh, eye relief this one because of the good eye relief comes first after the spear ballers this is a beautiful selection of eyepieces and look at the size of the eye lenses this air foil 50 millimeter um, Siberia Russian eyepiece is a two inch eyepiece just to compare the size the Spears Waller is bigger than that even and that's a two inch eyepiece and comparing it with this and the image quality of it is superb <laughs> 